What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex, my name is Travis. As the title states, we're going to be talking about YouTube, more specifically how you, the saltwater hobbyist, can start your journey here on the platform. Now, I'm going to talk about the goods, the bads, the uglies, and what it really takes to create content here on, on YouTube, and really, I'm just going to be honest and upfront with you, because there are a lot of people who start uh, this whole adventure, but give up very quickly, and because I got an email this morning, it reminded me to make this video, so I'm just going to kind of do it off the cuff, and we're going to see where it goes. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I do want to say one quick thing before we jump in, and that is if you're a female with a set of tits, a nice ass, and a so-so face, you don't even need to watch this video. All you have to do is plop your ass in front of a camera, pretend you know what you're talking about, and boom, you'll have a quarter million subs in no time. But if you want to stick around and watch the rest of the video, I appreciate you being here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the basics. Now, what you want to do before you start creating videos is decide on what type of content you want to create. And that is, do you want to teach people? Do you want to show tank progress? Do you want to entertain? Do you want to be a vlogger? There are many other things that you can do within our community. Just pick one and stick with it. Whatever fits you the best, whatever you feel you'll be good at, just do that. That way, when people come to your channel and they're looking for, hey, advice on how to grow coral or do certain things within the hobby, they're going to find that type of stuff and keep coming back to keep watching it. If you're bouncing around on six different topics and doing 20 different things all the time, yes, that can be good for some people, but I find that uh, most people are looking for a specific thing and then they come back for that. Like my best videos from the beginning have always been the beginner guide stuff, teaching you guys the basics and going through that type of stuff. When I go out and I do my rambling videos or I do kind of content like this and, and vlogging and sh hunting and all that stuff, I don't get a ton of views on those because that's not really what my channel was designed for in the beginning. So pick something, stick with it, and when you see success, you can start bringing in other things. Okay, now that you've decided on what type of content you're going to create, the next thing you wanna do is be consistent with your uploads. Now, the best thing you can do is just pick one day per week and then be consistent. So every Monday, I like to upload by 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you create the content the day before. That way, if something comes up in the morning, you'll have that video uploaded and ready to go for your subscribers to see at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, the biggest mistake that I made in the beginning was not being consistent. Not only was I not uploading every single week, it wasn't on the same day, and my analytics definitely showed that. Now, over the last, I would say, year or so, I've been uploading pretty much three times per week. That's been my best bet. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now, it's definitely not easy to have content every single, uh, or at least every, uh, every week, having three videos a week, but it's something that I strive for and I try to get done because uh, when I'm consistent, my subs go up, my views go up, of course, my watch time goes up and it's just much better for the channel and it continues to grow. Okay, now that we've talked about two of the basics to get you guys started, let's go to move on to the do's and the don'ts of YouTube. Now, the first thing you should be doing as a creator is being yourself. Now, this might seem obvious, but there are a lot of creators out there who try to be other YouTubers because that YouTuber saw success. Now, if you're not naturally an asshole like me, you shouldn't be creating content like I create because people are going to see through that, and if they can't trust you to be yourself, they're not going to take your advice, and they're definitely not gonna stick around to watch your videos. Okay, the next thing you should be doing, and what I feel to be the most important part of this community, is providing proof that what you say actually works. If you're talking about growing SPS and Acropora, yet you only have one or two frags in your tank and they're not growing worth shit, then you should not be giving advice on how to grow that specific type of coral if you're not growing it yourself or you don't have the ability to show people what they're doing. Taking a picture off the internet and then doing some words behind it and kind of voiceovering it is not going to work. You need to provide proof and you need to be consistent with that proof and all your videos that you're giving advice. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the don'ts of YouTube. The number one thing you don't want to do is swear. Yep, just like me. I never swear and I turned out fine. Now, really, you don't want to swear because when your video is uploaded, it gets scanned for keywords and you know offensive stuff, and we'll talk about that here in a second. And basically, you just don't want to be dropping F-bombs and swearing and, and saying things because you're just not going to rank as well. You're not going to be seen. It's just kind of the new algorithm that YouTube has, and it is what it is. I will be honest with you. In the beginning, I wasn't PC, and then I was for a little while trying to cater to everybody, and then I got sick of that shit, and now I'm just going to be myself taking my own advice. You like me, you watch. If you don't, then keep on moving. There's somebody else out there for you. Okay, the next thing you definitely don't want to say on YouTube is Donald Trump. The reason why you don't want to say words like Donald Trump is because when it gets up onto the YouTube algorithm, you're just not going to rank well, just like if you were swearing. 
Now the next thing I consider to be in the don't category, and it can also be in the do to a certain extent, and that is giveaways. Giveaways really only attract one type of person, and that is the person that's all about give me, give me, give me free shit. It's that person. You don't want that person as a subscriber because they're only going to come around when they can get free shit. So stay away from giveaways unless you have like a milestone, like maybe 10K or even 5K subs, and you know, do giveaways here and there. But as a whole, you don't want to be doing giveaways at every video because really, those aren't subscribers. Those aren't watch time people. Those are people that are here to get free shit because that's all they really care about. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is going to help you guys stay motivated because there are, of course, going to be a lot of ups and downs when you're creating content. And what I mean by that is uh, staying focused on the positive things and the positive comments that you get and grow some thick skin. Now, I will admit early on, I got offended pretty quickly with people calling me uh, you know, names and being assholes. And really, they're just trolls out there that don't like you simply for the fact that you are who you are. It is what it is. If you ever just rolled up at a guy at a red light and you looked at his face, you're like, man, I don't like that motherfucker. He just looks like somebody I don't like. Basically, it's the same thing here on YouTube. Just because you create content, someone's not going to like you. They're going to thumbs down your video and they're just not going to like you. It is what it is. So uh, understand that there's nothing you can do about it. You can't cater to those people. You just need to, again, continue to be yourself. Now, what I mean by growing thick skin is when somebody calls you a bad name or they tell you to go F yourself or why am I even censoring myself now? They tell you to go fuck yourself or they say something about you or your family, whatever. Your best bet is just acknowledge the fact that they said it, never respond because that's what they want, and then just delete the comment and continue on with your life. Now, the most important part of the community is staying focused on all the positive comments that you get. You might get a hundred positive comments saying you're doing a great job, but it's that one negative that you'll focus on. You need to just move on from that and focus on all the people who are saying good things about you and your content. Again, stay focused on the positive. It's really going to help with your motivation and help you get through the down times of maybe not getting a lot of views or just starting out and you're not getting noticed, going through that whole process. If you just stay positive on the one or two people who say good things about you, you're gonna be better off in the long run. Okay, the last part of this video I wanna talk about is your mindset. For me, YouTube is just a platform where I can upload videos. I can teach you guys and give out free advice and have a great time doing that. But it's also a platform that I use to sell my coral and to promote my services and to make a living. So uh, knowing that, I also need to understand that it's, it literally is a platform that I have no control over. So if somebody wants to demonetize me or kick me off the platform or even completely shut down the YouTube platform, that's nothing. there's nothing I can do about it. So don't make YouTube everything. Don't focus on putting content out every single day and putting your whole life on hold to make content or taking away from your family or go, not doing things because, hey, I got to make this video and I got to get it out on time. Understanding that YouTube is just a place for you to express yourself, to share your content, maybe run a business, but it's not everything. There's many things outside of YouTube that are much, much more important and they should always, I mean, always take priority over creating content. Well, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you like the off-the-cuff type of unscripted content. Now, if you've been following the channel, you know that I usually censor myself a lot more on those videos just because it's good for the quote-unquote algorithm. It's good for rankings and stuff like that, so I usually only drop a couple Fs here and there. Now, for this video, because it's in the spirit of uh, being who you are on YouTube, I figured I wouldn't hold back. I'd just be myself. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, then you know where to go. And uh, yeah, so again, I hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.